All right, here we go. So I end up playing some Master Duel, and my opponent is just going to pretty much end this turn. So I'm guessing he bricked. I don't know what deck he's playing at this point. I just know that I got the hand to fully pop off. So I'm going to start off with a Rite of Aries Mirror, and literally this hand does everything. This particular hand right here puts up the most powerful board in Scare Claws. Now, I've done this before, and I've shown this before. I got the Adventure Line, which means this will set up the Adventures. I also have right card in my starting hand, which means I have to just search for um, Visa Starfrost, and then I get protection from Chaos Angel. Then on top of that, this card right here will get me uh, Nemesis Corridor, so then that way I can go Nemesis Corridor into Thunder Dragon Colossus. This right here will set me up basically Scareclaw Triheart, DPE, and a Scythe Lock all in one. So all of this that's in my hand right now can all summon onto the field if I can make it through the plays. Now, this shit can play through fucking the gates. That's exactly why I'm setting this up. There's one card that would absolutely fuck me over right now and guess what it is it is not drolling lockbird because i am starting off with the adventure engine which means i'm not going to be adding shit to my hand yet i'll be basically summoning out a token it'll automatically put faithful adventure and then boom i can search for the one card that needs to hit the field then he'll be able to activate droll and lockbird if that's the card and that would kind of fuck me over but it would give me the omni negate that's not what it is it's this bullshit this fucking card needs to be banned it needs a fucking ban like what more do they really want bro like this shit wins so many fucking games bro when this card gets activated, that shit wins games. So he then Ash Blossoms me. And then I'm just going to go Link Karibo. And I'm pretty much just going to go Link Karibo. Like, I don't want to pile his hand up with cards, bro. So I just attack a couple times. And then just pretty much pass turn. You know? So... He is going to activate Sword Soul Long Yuan. Okay, okay. And then, is he going into Barone the Floor? Is he going into uh, Sword Soul, the, the other Sword Soul, like the big boss monster? Is he going, well, like, like, what is he going into? Is he going into, uh, what? What level 10 synchro is this motherfucker going into? Let's see. Bro, what the fuck is this? This shit is played at 0.12%, my boy. What, let's read what this shit does. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card was special summoned from the extra deck uh, that it battled, you can activate this effect. Banish all monsters your com opponent controls. Also, for the rest of this turn, half the battle damage your opponent takes. Then the next effect is once per turn during the end phase. If this effect was activated this turn, special summon as many of those monsters as possible that was banished by this card effect your opponent uh, to your opponent's field. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, shit does a bunch of nothing. So basically, like if I have anything equipped, it basically unequips it because it removes the monsters and then they come back to the field. So I guess that's what this is for is the like unequip shit i don't fucking know bro like I, I don't know but i do know this is a fucking floodgate bro like basically he takes no damage um so i can sit here and crash into this bitch all day and all it does is just keep removing my shit and putting it back so this is a way for him to just sit there on his fucking ass and let turns pass by so it's a way to slow the fucking game down now if y'all don't know bro this is the deck that i'm playing right here boom this is a deck that i put together i call it the sore soul negate deck i mean a uh, scare claw negate deck my bad basically it's a whole bunch of gas in this deck that can create some crazy powerful hands uh crazy powerful inboards 
things. This shit can put out Colossus, DPE, fucking uh, Borolo, Savage Dragon, Baron de Flor, Chaos Angel, and <laughs> Scareclaw Tryhard at the same time. Six big bodies at the same fucking time, bro. Like, this deck can do so much. And, 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 and then... If you got the space, if you can make some room, you can even fit the adventure engine on the on field as well. Now, this deck is absolutely insane. And I actually had the hand to do exactly what I was just saying. That hand that I'm talking about is the hand that I started out with. Boom, Nemesis Flag, um, Scareclaw Reichardt, and then also the Four Must Skipper. That basically does that line of combo that i was referring to um i just can't do it because you know of course y'all saw what happened i got hit with fucking max c bro so all right so as of right now my out for this card is literally just go into chaos angel and just banish that shit like that's what my plan is just get to chaos angel i got the hand to do that shit bro easily got the hand to do it i go lightheart he's going to activate effect baylor i'm gonna call by the grave that shit like get that shit out of here my boy yeet fuck fuck out of here my boy so i then go ahead and pop the lightheart and then i go into chaos angel boom and then i get hit with a solemn warning now what i probably should have done is instead of going straight into it i should have tried to use scareclaw arrival and possibly summon um maybe one more monster like try to get astro onto the field or something onto the field and then use this card to pop this card and then summon chaos angel which would have banished this but who gives a fuck bro like he he's not gonna be able to do a fucking thing anyways it's not gonna matter like unless this is like a nibiru he's fucked i can tell you that now so now let's see so boom so i go ahead and go into none other than thunder dragon colossus right here and then into dpe now, at this point, I bet he's thinking like, oh, shit, I'm about to be able to do my, my bullshit, you know? He's not going to be able to get past this. Like, I'm, I'm going to be able to do my bullshit. So, I just go ahead and pop the scythe so he can't go into the extra deck, bringing out no more bullshit this turn. And then I go into Scareclaw Tryhard. Oh, yeah, put that shit in defense. He puts it back into attack position. But guess what, my boy? Doesn't matter. This is a always running effect put that shit back in defense bitch and if you got a imperm and you want to set that bitch guess what dpe is coming back i could pop that fucking imperm before you get to get to your turn to activate that shit he's then going to ash blossom me trying to green grab a try hard now at this point what i was trying to do is put I was trying to grab, um, where's that shit at? Where's that shit at? Right here. I was trying to grab Astra, put it back onto the field. I was going to use DPE to pop both itself plus the Visus Astral out. I was going to pop both of these two cards. This just to clear some space so I could put two bodies on the field. And then summon the Astra and then search for the other Scareclaw, the one that um, can search for shit, the like level four, put that onto the field and then boom, search for the Omni Negate and then put that on the field. So if he had any effects, I could just negate that shit, bro. So that was my plan, but he got ashed, but I still got an out. So this right here will basically slow this bitch down until I drew the out, which was basically my Diabell Star. I got enough cards in the deck, but eventually I'll draw into Diabell Star and the DPE can continue to pop 
whatever shit he tries to summon. I know he's playing fucking Sword Soul. So every time he tries to get his Sword Soul engine going, I can just pop that shit with DPE. And this will keep this card in check. So basically it would fuck him over. And he can't search. So motherfucker would be fucked anyways. He can't search. Like this will slow him down as well. So I go ahead and just... This is the card that I needed, which is the Sinful Spoils. So, once I flip this shit over, it negates the effects of this card permanently. So, boom. I negate this shit, and then he has to hold this dead-ass card with no fucking effects. I turned this bitch into a level 10 vanilla, bro. Like, literally no effects, no attack, no defense. Everything about this card is fucking zero, bro. Like, it... it it literally can't do shit so now at this point i'm just gonna pop this pop that boom bro why are you quitting you had so much fucking patience bro you ha roger my boy you had so much patience to sit here through all these fucking turns you had so much patience to sit here through all these fucking turns with your fucking floodgate monster and then when i pop that bitch when I pop that bitch it say this shit bro what what this mean what the, what this word right here say my boy why, why you doing this huh why you surrendering my boy why you, why this shit say you surrendered it da, 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 da. surrender it my boy get that ass back here my boy I ain't finished with you yet bitch I'll catch y'all in the next one peace